Hi, it's Terry, and I just wanted to show you uh, a tool that I bought that basically kind of fills the gap um, regarding Pinlet Magic and text. This kind of allows you to move the text around more easily than Pinlet Magic. So I kind of got it in those rare instances in which I need to do that. I can pretty much manipulate text um, pretty well in Pinlet Magic, but it's nice to have an option where you you know can quickly you know move the text around. So what I'm going to do here is load an image from my hard drive, and I already have the folder up here, and this is the image I want. I'm going to take note of the dimensions, which is 603 by 450, because I'm going to need to enter that into the boxes here. So let me do that right now. 603 by 450. I'm going to go ahead and crop that so that the image appears in the preview section. And then now what I want to do is add some text to the image. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to white and hit the text icon. I know I want it to be in this area where it's kind of dark. So I'm just going to click here. I've already captured a quote that I'm just going to paste in here. And then here are all the fonts. And these are fonts that are actually on your system. I have quite a bit here, so I'm just going to scroll down. I happen to know that I like Julian. So I'm going to go with that. And then um, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to have to extend the width so that I can see it and also the height. So let me extend the height so I can see the entire quote. All right, I need to be a little bit wider. So extend the width here till I get it where I want it. There we go. And then you can just take the box, see, and move it around. So that makes it a little bit, you know, easier. And I want the font to be slightly smaller. All right, and then I want it to be the width to be a little bit narrower, so it puts the dashes of Latsu on the same line. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit and just kind of center it on the green here, since it's a nice dark backdrop for the white text. And you can also add borders here. So it's got you know show border, you can pick a color, you know, just like Pinlet Magic. But I'm going to, if I'm going to do a border, I'm going to do it in Pinlet Magic. So I'm not going to do one here. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this. Well, let me crop it again, just to be sure. Because I want to make sure the text is here. And then I'm going to accept it again. And now I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as nature.jpg and hit save and then I'm going to jump over to Pinlet Magic and upload it here because I do want to be able to share it on my social media sites so I'm going to choose file because I'm going to upload it from my hard drive and I'm going to find the folder in which I saved it this is an earlier one you see on the screen here but I want to find the one that I saved it to, which should be down here. Oops, keep going. Here we go. Oh, my computer's acting slow. Let's see, there we go. Graphics and Pixie N. And it should be here, right here, nature. So we're going to open that. And then hit upload. Yep. Yeah. And then hit up upload. And then I'm going to go up here and extend the width some. And then I might extend this a little bit too. And let me make it a little bit wider. And I don't know. This picture is so pretty. I just really can't even imagine adding a border to it to offset it because it's got enough color where we don't even need to do that. So at this point, I'm just going to share it on my Pinterest account. And 
and I'm going to put it under under quotes and then pin it and see your pin and there it is so anyway I just think it's a great little tool if you need to manipulate the text like that um, there are instances in which I need to do that 90 percent 90 95 percent of the time I can do it all within Pinlet Magic, but in those rare cases, it's just really good to have a backup tool. And really, this tool is meant to help you out with Facebook because it already has predefined sizes here of all of the dimensions within Facebook. Like, for instance, this is your profile image size, and this is a post size. Uh, this is the timeline header size at the top there uh, and this is like a large post and this is actually your tab image so it's really cool to have that already predefined when you're trying to get those images just right in Facebook but I just thought it was cool that you could also do your own sizes so it pretty much you know opens up the field for you to do you know just about anything with it so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, if you think that would be a good fit for you, I'm going to put the link below. And um, I'll be out on the forum. Thank you.